Smash it. Hi, I'm Mike Deming, host of Pro Membership Sweepstakes, Hunt and Fish with the Pros. It's the end of March, and anybody that knows me knows I'm down here in Texas with Steve Jones Backcountry Hunts. We caught a couple of winners down here, as well as one of my good buddies. We're here to hunt Audax. This is truly one of my favorite animals to hunt. They've got great eyesight, super, super smart. It's unbelievable. Stick around. It's going to be a great show. So everybody asked me, what are you looking at for shot distance when you come down here? I'd say the average shot distance here is between 200 and 300 yards. You really should spend a lot of time shooting off of sticks, both seated and standing. You know, when we come down here, we're using big optics, 15 powers and spotting scopes, and you really need to have those on a tripod. You can lean up against the truck or sit in the high rack, and you're, you're looking, you know, a lot of times two, three, four miles away, and those lower power optics just don't get it done. So you've got to have a tripod, one that you can either stand behind or sit down. I like to personally stand up and lean against the truck. <laughs> A little excitement, right? Right off the bat, first spot, see a nice one, getting all set up and ready to see how close we can get, so. Who's up shooting? Well, I guess I am, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go is right, yes sir. <laughs> Here we are, day one, Steve Jones backcountry hunt. I got one of our grand prize win here, winners here, Dennis from Alps Pact. We have already found a shooter. I mean, we always find sheep here. Literally, we pulled up to this lookout point, pulled out, got my spotting scope, got my binos up, 15 powers, bam, shooter sheep. Let's go, game on. animals they are super smart and they're really cagey we had a scenario this trip this ram knew we were there and he just walked away over the roll of the hill he didn't run and he just flat disappeared I've been fortunate enough to do just a couple of out west bigger game hunts so I'm starting to understand spot and stalk just awesome because that's what we did you know we spotted and we stalked and we snuck and we did the best we could to kind of like outmaneuver them right here that group of five or six those two big ones are, are right over the hill there okay that other guy could have boogered and come over over this way through the saddle right here so we're just going to go really slow around here plus the wind's kind of going that way i'm going to try and come all the way around and look back this way Right here, so just be ready. So the one looking now is the one looking at is just a big one. That's the second one. Yeah. 
So I heard a phrase years ago when I started doing this, don't pass on the first day what you would take on the last day. And I think there's a lot to be said for that. He comes walking through there, stops, looks at me. So it was just about as good as it could get. Smashed him, smashed him. Get ready, get ready, shoot again, get ready, shoot again. I can't see it, Mike. It's all right, he's down, but just be ready. You smashed him. Be there, be ready. 360 yards, boys, rammed down. Dennis made a good shot. And quite frankly, probably wouldn't have ever considered an Audad hunt if this hadn't been on Michael's list of really cool trips and really cool places to go. We're good, good. Load okay. that gun, buddy. You're welcome. Proud of you, man. Well, that was a good it. shot. Thank you. When it comes to hunting, <clears throat> I just got so much respect for what you know and what you do. Hey, huh? <clears throat> and you're kind of my father figure. <laughs> and I just told Zach, I hope I didn't disappoint you this morning. So. No, you did great, man. I mean, I love that. To, to share what I have and knowledge. Yeah. I mean, I've been fortunate to be able to do this my whole life. Yeah. And, you know, when you do something your whole life, you better get good at it. Yeah. Damn good fine shot there, Jim. Did you Thank shoot him you. sitting down from your little seat to be him? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Did Very you? Good. Perfect. Way to go. 351 so yards. Way to go. Yeah. Good shooting. I can say that my previous experiences were not as successful as after I met Mike. You are not selling anything that's not 100%. I mean, this, this ranch here is 100% of everything you said it was. That, that little one that was standing up there disappeared now. He went behind that really, that really thin rock. I'm on him. We saw some old dad. We all jumped out of the truck and I just shot at one pretty high up this hill. And we're gonna go check it out. See what happens. Please. Hope for the best. Got blood right here. Mark. A pretty good pile of blood right there. country is rough, it's rocky, thorny. And there's a lot of things out here that'll cut you and stab you. But uh, this is great, it's just a great hunt. I think, it's a, I think it's a learning experience for a lot of people. People that aren't used to something like this should probably try to experience something like this. It's pretty awesome. Good, good job. That's a good one, right? Good round. Yes, sir. Very good. Very, very good. Nice. Yes, sir. Very nice. What were your thoughts when you found out that your dad drew the tag? Excited, and I don't know. Go up in here. We've never done a guided trip, so this is the first for both of us. Pretty fortunate.
So Richard, so what uh, what were your thoughts when you when you found out you won the odd ad hunt? Something different. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be exciting. Yeah. Have you ever had you ever thought of wanting to hunt an odd ad before? No. That's cool. Yeah. As soon as Michael drawed my name, I had my friends. They called me, and I didn't even know it yet until because it, it hadn't come on the you know the text message yet. Right. They were already calling me to say your name got drawn. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I haven't even seen it yet. Yes, sir. Got a really nice ram spotted over here. We're gonna take Richard up here and see if we can get him put in the truck. That's what I like to hear. What do you think? Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, he won't see us. We can get in there and have some cover. I'm, I'm expecting it to be. 270 across there. Oh, really? We'll okay. see when we get there, see what happens. Right. True. We can see. And he was already standing. He's standing, yes. Yeah. He's standing, so. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go get him. Sounds good. He's gonna walk out on the right there. Let me see. Okay, get on your gun. See him walk down right there. On the Where's right, going up that side of the hill. Oh, yeah. You on him? Zach, you on him? Yes, sir. Okay, give me just a minute. Okay. Oh, did I go the wrong way? <laughs> Sorry. Do you feel pretty comfortable there? Yeah. Okay, okay just nice deep breath. Yeah. Crosshairs right on him. Yeah, just let him turn. Yeah. Reloaded. Good shot. Outstanding. Outstanding. He's on the ground right there. Let's just watch him in there. Get your gun back on him in case he gets up. Find him in your scope is what I'm getting at. Good shot, buddy. Good shot. He's down. He's laying yeah. down. He's coming. He's laying down. You got him. Nice shot. Nice. Nice shot. Thanks for your help. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're breathing a little harder now. <laughs> Buck fever. Buck fever. <laughs> it was excitement now. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Right. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Yes. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know, if I don't have words, just pure excitement, just, just an opportunity that I will forever have in my, so I wanted to be those, that patience for him, like he was for us growing up. You wanted to go hold those sticks because you could see his anticipation and. Just take a deep breath. Yeah. So I tried to kind of practice what he taught us growing up. What do you think? <laughs> Congratulations. Very good. Thank you. Well, another great trip down here in Texas with Steve Jones Backcountry Hunts. This is the completion of my 11th year of coming down here. Here we are, we're three days into this. We're totally done. We had a great time, had a couple of winners here, had a booked client down here. And each and every time, Steve and his group of people, they always deliver exactly what we're looking for. This is just hunting camp. And I love coming down here. As always, we're gonna give this trip away. So if this excited you, as it excites me each and every year, and you wanna come down here, hey, give me a call at the office, send me an email, say you wanna come down here and hunt some odd ad with us. And we're back down here the last five days of every March, each and every year. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.